Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing good from my end and I want to welcome each and every one of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you for always being here, supporting us, and supporting Harry and Meghan, and celebrating them whenever there is need. So every single day, we come here with new stories to update you about what is trending, especially anything connected to Harry or Meghan, and also our own Princess Diana in her absence. Now, my people, Princess Diana, who went where the pain was, says the Diana Award CEO, and now her sons are doing the same. Here is an exclusive that Dr. Tessie Ojo tells the people that Harry really changed the trajectory of how we talk about mental health in the UK. That is basically what I am here to share with you. And this is from the CEO, the Diana Awards. That is basically what I am here to share. The, the amazing message that this CEO have for Harry. So here we go. From the people, we have a whole article that I will be sharing with you part of it and let us take the meaningful part of it now during her life princess diana went where the pain was and her son harry isn't afraid to do the same that's according to dr tacy ojo who is now the ceo of diana award the only award bearing the late princess of wales so this is the only award that bears Princess Diana's name, actually. I'm getting to learn that. It's the only award bearing Princess Diana's name. So two years after her death, following a car accident on August 31st of 1997, the Diana Award was formed in 1999, and it is celebrating its 25 its 25th anniversary this year. It's a cause that both harry and william support okay that is basically a positive one on on william but i can't really support that st statement because you know william doesn't show any effort anyway but i'm just reading an article from the people so you understand now i think what you will see in the passion the selflessness in some senses they say i am not going to give up Ojo tells the people at September 23rd event for the Diana Award featuring Harry in New York City. She adds, it's so easy to pause, to stop and to say, this is too big. It's too messy. I'm not going to get involved. And that's the kind of thing we saw with Princess Diana. She went where the pain was and usually where the pain is. It's not always comfortable. It's not easy, and that's what you see. You see the same value, that principle of we are going to go where the pain is, however uncomfortable this is. So Ojo points out that Harry's formation of Heads Together as a moment that really changed the trajectory of how we talk about mental health in the UK. And about Harry, it's basically a participation in a panel. And he was there in that discussion alongside Ojo and two recipients of Diana's award. And I think what we wanted him to bring was that same energy and really highlight why it's important that we don't slip work into this crisis that we currently have. And that actually we are going to shift the dial. Ojo says of the conversation around mental health. Young people and young voices had to be at the center of it. And I think the power of someone like him is how they can amplify the voices 
of young people and that's what we saw happen today so allow me stop there because it's an entire article but the positive thing is already mentioned the honor of diana's award and you see her recurring on that legacy and honoring his mom the legacy of princess diana and the ceo has just pointed that out so it's such an amazing thing to see people highlighting diana's legacy because you know this ceo has just said diana went to where pain was and i hope that statement speaks enough and i don't need to explain it because basically you know diana went through a lot of painful moments especially with the royal family she was mistreated and i just feel so sad about it anyway but i am happy that her son harry is out of the place and he is in california having some peaceful environment to raise his kids and that is the best thing but most of the time we go through pain so that we also get success so that is what i also learned from diana and harry basically so what do you have to say about what ceo diana award has said especially to harry and the fact that she highlighted that diana went where the pain was and now harry is doing the same i don't know what you think about it personally i felt like it's something so huge to take and it's also something that we must celebrate harry for doing that it's not easy it's not easy to take the position of diana and to just carry on her legacy a lot of attacks are there and harry has faced it enough in fact more than enough harry is always criticized but you see he continuously support diana in whatever she was doing harry has never given up in this painful journey and we see him pushing hard so that is where we all gain the energy to push harder in whatever we go through in every single day's activities let us learn from harry and the fact that harry has endured enough also diana went through the same same pain and she didn't give up she actually fought for the best and you see harry is trying to accomplish what diana was always looking up to so that is just an amazing honor of princess diana and the ceo diana award has just highlighted the same let me get to know what you think about that comment in the comment section below and allow me end it here so kindly remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and also like this particular video and stay safe from wherever you are also stay tuned for more of our videos until next time it is a goodbye